guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new hi hello welcome thank you so much for stopping by today's video is so so exciting i have not been this excited about a collection in a hot minute so this is going to be a video on the harry potter and ColourPop collection i'm wearing one of my harry potter shirts right now i've got a couple different harry potter shirts some harry potter like pajama pants shorts i've got my harry potter oh well, my hermione one i got a little like wand that goes on my lanyard at work which is a Slytherin lanyard guys I just love Harry Potter so when I saw this collection I I just I needed it I'm just I'm so excited I ended up buying the PR collection I think that way it just came in this Harry Potter themed box versus just the regular like color pop box I'm not 100% sure but it was four dollars more so I was like you know what might as well but yeah I just I love Harry Potter I've done some Harry Potter body paint but I will leave those videos down below if you guys are interested just because I I want to do different Harry Potter like body paints using this I might do it where I like do their crest and stuff but yeah I'm gonna do swatches of the palette I'm gonna do an eye look I'm gonna swatch the highlighters hopefully I can use one of them on my face use as many of these products as I can in today's video and yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing my thoughts and everything, then just keep on watching. Alright, so this is the box here. It did come in a regular cardboard box, and then this was inside of it. Just the Harry Potter box here. So then this is the inside of the box. I'm literally keeping this box forever. Alright, so when you open up all the bubble wrap, it comes with the little card, and it gives you all the little details of it. So it says, Calling All Witches, Wizards, and Muggles. The Harry Potter collection, discover the magic with our latest collection of spellbinding shades. That gives you like a breakdown of everything. All right, so the first thing we have are four of the fourth ray lip balms. It says, get soft, hydrated lips with four of our 100% vegan lip balms infused with lip-loving ingredients. Each lip balm represents the four houses of Hogwarts in its own noble history. And these are all different scents. They're not tinted or anything, I don't think. I think they're all just different scents. I wish it said what the scent was on these. All right, so this is the packaging. It doesn't show the scent or anything on it either, but it is so pretty. Ooh, that's got a very light scent to it, but it smells really nice. All right, so this is Courage, and this is the Gryffindor one, and it says it's a butterbeer scent. A frothy eggnog with notes of island rum, sweet ginger, clove, cinnamon, and aged vanilla. So next we have Ravenclaw, and then this one is called Wit. Ooh, this one smells really good. Uh, this is Sugar Quills, and it says a luscious and fresh flavor with notes of blackberries, Wood Island Basil and Hints of Spiced Vanilla Bean. Alright, then we have Hufflepuff, and this is in Patience. Ooh, these all smell so good. So this one is in Popping Pixie Wing Dust, a fantasy flavor with notes of fluffy marshmallows, vanilla bean, wild coconut, and juicy berries. I feel like the Butterbeer one was the lightest scent so far. I feel like those two were definitely a lot stronger. Alright, so then lastly we have the Slytherin one, and then this is in Pride. Oh yeah, this one's very pepperminty. Uh, this is Peppermint Toad, a cooling and refreshing flavor with notes of wild peppermint, garden spearmint, and hints of clove. So, we're just going to put this on first. Again, there is no color to it, it's just all different scents. So I, I get where they're going with doing like the scents and stuff, just because, you know, tinted lip balms, not everyone's going to want to wear a green, a yellow, a blue, or a red lip. So I like that they went just the lip balm route and just changed up the scents. It would have been fun to have different colors, just so it's not like the same product, just a different scent, but I don't mind fall, winter coming up, chap lips in general. We don't like chap lips, so having four Harry Potter lip balms, I'm totally fine with. And then these retail for $10 each if you get them individually. All right, so next we have four lip products. We have a Lux Lip Gloss, and then we've got three of their Lux Velvet Liquid Lipsticks. So we have Luna Love Good as the gloss. We've got Harry, Hermione, and Ron for the lipstick colors. And I will swatch them on my hand, but I am gonna do lip swatches. So I'm technically gonna just remove the lip balm that I put on, but it's fine. But I do want to do some lip swatches of the lip products here. That way I can kind of see what they look like without it clashing with the eyeshadow once we do eyeshadow. Alright, so the gloss is the Luna Love Good. It just says L Love Good. And then on the side of the box here, it says, You're just as sane as I am. Picture of Luna. Guys, this is so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm... I'm never tossing out this packaging. I don't even care. All right, so then this is the packaging of the Luna Gloss here. I'm gonna do the lip swatches first and then I'll have all the swatches at the end. Uh. 
All right, so this is the gloss on my lips. All right, and the color description says be different with this shimmering sheer icy blue. And I can definitely see the little bit of blue glitter flex, but like I feel like in the lighting, it's got like a lavender type of shade to it where it doesn't just look blue. It might just be blue mixed with like my lip color. This is so cute and it smells really nice as well. I don't see anything on the website about like a scent for it. So then for the liquid lipsticks, I'm going to try to go in the lightest to darkest shade. So I think based off the picture on the website, Hermione looks like the lightest. And again, this just says H. Granger. And then on the side, it says it's Leviosa, not Leviosa. <laughs> that is so cute. All right, so then here is the color here. This is just such a cute little nudie color. And that's a, that's kind of peachy, okay. I mean, Alright, so this is the color here, and this is such a good everyday nude type shade. I feel like this, with just the foundation I have now, maybe like a winged eyeliner, great, simple, out the door look. The formula is really, really comfortable, and then it says, you'll never be expelled with this warm, peachy nude. So I think Ron is lighter than Harry. I'm trying to, I'm trying to look at the pictures, and that's what it's looking like. This is our Weasley for Ron. This is the Ron shade here here okay this is so different for me i know it's fall and it's a darker not super bright orange shade but this is definitely something super different for me and then i forgot to mention on the side of his it says swish and flick this is cute, okay? So I feel like this is gonna be my intro to doing like burnt orange lips. We'll see if I actually ever wear it out, but it's such a cute fall color. I just, I don't know if it just doesn't look good or if it's just something different for me that I feel like it just looks off. So let me know if you guys think this color actually works or if it doesn't. So I'm looking at myself in the mirror, I'm looking at myself in the monitor, and I don't know, I, I think it's just because it's such a different color for me that it feels weird wearing it, but I don't think it looks horrible. If it looks horrible, like, let me know. And then for the shade, it says, don't let the muggles get you down with this burnt orange. All right, then we have the Harry Potter shade, and it says, I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Okay, I definitely ruined the packaging of this one a little bit. I, I, I couldn't get it open. I don't know why that one was so difficult. Um, But this is the shade for Harry. All right, so it's a beautiful deep red color. I just, I don't wear red often, but the formula of this, if, if I decide to go the red lip route for Christmas time and not a green lip, this might be the one I go for and I might just like deepen it up with like a black on the outer corners and do like an ombre or something. I don't know, it, it's pretty. I just, I don't love red on myself. So I don't know if I'm just not liking it. If it, like again, if it looks bad, let me know. If you think it actually looks pretty good and I'm just being harsh on myself, let me know that as well. I just never wear red, regardless if it's like eyeshadow, blush, lipstick. I barely have red clothes in my closet, so, um, but I'm not going to get rid of it because it is part of the Harry Potter collection, so. But it says, be up to no good with this rich brick red. Alright, so here are all the lip colors swatched next to each other. We've got Luna, Hermione, Braun, and Harry. Alright, so then it says Luxe Velvet Lip. Swipe on these shades inspired by Harry, Ron, and Hermione. Our innovative whipped formula creates a soft, diffused look with a blend of super nourishing ingredients. And then for the lip gloss, it says cast a spell with our comfy, ultra cushiony gloss inspired by Luna Lovegood herself. Swipe on this sheer icy blue with pink, teal, violet pinpoints for obsession-worthy shine. All right, so next there are four liquid liners. These are their Graphics Ink Liners, and I've never tried any of the ColourPop liquid eyeliners like this, so I'm super, super excited. I think I've only ever tried like their cream gel eyeliners, which is just like their pencil eyeliners. We've got the Hufflepuff one, and this is in the shade Cup. 
and this is the packaging of it here and let's do that right there all right so this is the cup shade here and it just says a metallic bright warm gold for hufflepuff members then we have sword for gryffindor i don't know if i'm supposed to like shake these or not all right, so there is Sword, and it says a metallic, vibrant, warm red for Gryffindor members. All right, so then we have Ravenclaw, and this is in Diadem. Ooh. Okay, this one I think is a matte, and it just says a deep blue for Ravenclaw members. Then we have Slytherin, and then this is in the shade Locket. I need that color all over. That is so pretty. Okay. And it just says a rich forest green for Slytherin members. This for the fall time with like a mustard eye, that's going to be like my go-to. If this is a good formula, I'm going to need like 20 of them because instead of black eyeliner, I'm going to be using this deep green eyeliner. So then on the little card, it says for the graphics ink liner, break the rules with four of our long wearing liquid eyeliners in Hogwarts house shades for the perfect graphic looks. Its flexible tip delivers extreme color payoff in one swipe. All right, so next we have three of the Super Shock highlighters, and I've already tried this formula as well. The only thing out of all these that were new to me, never trying before, were the lip balms from Fourth Ray and then the uh, liquid liners. But I've tried ColourPop Lux Liquid Lipsticks, I've tried their glosses, I've tried their Super Shock highlights, and I've also tried their eyeshadows. Guys, these are so cute! Okay, so we have Hedwig, Dobby, and Buckbeak. Guys, I'm, I can't. All this is literally gonna go on display. I'm going to reorganize my living room here so that these are out on display. So this is Hedwig. So each one comes with a little mirror. All right, so this is the Hedwig shade. It's definitely very, very light and icy. It says swipe on this icy white inspired by a very smart owl. These super shocks are so, so soft, buttery. That is gonna be a beautiful like inner corner highlight shade. That might be able to work for my skin tone. We'll see, we'll see. Then we've got Buckbeak, and this is the packaging for Buckbeak here. This is the Hedwig one. They are a little bit different. So then here is Buckbeak, and that says a silver taupe inspired by a good hippogriff. All right, then we have Dobby. Got the socks. I, that is the cutest thing. I'm, I'm obsessed. So Dobby's definitely too dark for me to wear on its own. And, so then this just says, be free with this warm gold hue. Let me just mix all of them together on the back of my hand. Look how shiny the back of my hand is compared to the other hand. So for the Super Shock highlighters, it says Lumos Maxima. Illuminate your cheeks with our OG bouncy formula in stunning tie-dye finishes for a highlight that's just like magic. I forgot to mention how much everything costs individually. Okay, hold on, back up. The highlighters themselves are $12. The liners are $10 a pop. The lip balms I already mentioned were $10. And the glosses and the Luxe lipsticks are $10 each. So everything so far was $10, $10, $10. And then these are $12 each. Oh, I'm so excited. So then lastly, we have the Back to Hogwarts eyeshadow palette. I'm not sure why the palette and the highlighters came in, you know, this as well as just the regular packaging and the other stuff didn't. This is so cute. I, I can't. I'm obsessed. This is absolutely gorgeous. You've got the crest in the middle. You've got all four houses. And you've got the little picture. Yeah, it's the same thing that's on the little ColourPop card here. And then just slide it out. I don't even care that there's not a mirror in here because look at that. I will take this over a mirror any day. And then you've got all the colors here. So you've got obviously the shades for each of the houses. You've got your yellows, your reds, your blues, and your greens. I don't mind that we've got two rows for Slytherin and then two rows for Hufflepuff with the yellowy tones and like the greeny tones. And then a row for Ravenclaw and a row for Gryffindor. But I feel like some people might be offended if this is one of their houses and they have one row versus my house having two rows and then Hufflepuff having two rows. I guess if you moved this green up there, you would have a row of uh, green and then that brown there those switch so you have like your dark neutrals your light neutrals and then you have like your yellows 
So I guess technically it's a dark neutral, light neutral, and then a row of each of your colors. But I don't. I, I I'm loving this color story. So I'm gonna do swatches for you guys as well, and then I will be playing with this palette. The palette itself retails for thirty dollars, and you get twenty four shades. So I'm looking at the ColourPop website. I wish it gave descriptions of each of the shades because I'm really bad at describing shades themselves. So I'm not going to have that for you, but you can at least see what the colors look like swatched on my hand. So we have Lumos, Floating Candles, Mortar's Map, and Liquid Luck. And then... I'm gonna try to fit all the swatches on my arm. I don't think they're all gonna fit going down on the same side, so I might like flip my arm a bit, but I'm gonna try to get them all on my arm. Then we have Whomping Willow, Hufflepuff, Golden Snitch, and then Pumpkin Juice. Then we have Mandrake. We've got Invisibility Cloak, which kind of looks like the highlighters where it's like that tie-dye effect. That's the only one that's looking tie dye -y. Yep, that's definitely like a Super Shock formula as well compared to the other shimmers. I just, they're Super Shocks, I just want to keep like swatching over and over. Um, Butterbeer, and then Gryffindor. Mandrake, Invisibility Cloak, Butterbeer, and then... I feel like this palette, aside from the Ravenclaw row, is very, very fall vibes. Because even like this right here is just like a fall color story to me. So we have Enchanted Keys, Patronus, Forbidden Forest. That's like glitter. Um, okay. And then Ravenclaw. So there are those shades. This one is definitely like very textured. It's got like that kind of a base to it, so it's not just like very dry glitter that's not gonna stick. Still use glitter primer if you are gonna use like glitter shades. I don't know if you can even tell, but it's very textured compared to the other ones at least. Then we have Gillyweed, Great Hall, Nimbus 2000, and then Slytherin. Maybe I can fit them all on the same side of my arm. We'll see. I'm really gonna try here. Just it'd be pointless to have four shades on the other side of my hand. So there are those shades at the bottom there. Then we have Elder One, Hungarian Horntail, Sorting Hat, and Dementor. Alright. I somehow managed 24 swatches. So looking at this palette here, it's definitely a very fall palette with pops of blue which i'm glad they went with like deeper blue shades none of them are too too bright yeah that is that is so pretty i cannot wait to play with this palette i'm going to be using this palette so much all right so i am going to use this palette today obviously and then i'll use some of the other products also but i'm thinking of doing like a four looks one palette or maybe like five looks maybe even seven looks all right so you guys know looking at this palette i definitely want to go in to the yellows and the green so we're just going to start off with my nars tinted eyeshadow base okay so i know i want to play with the slytherin eyeliner so i think i'm going to go in with the top three rows just apply that in the crease let me zoom you guys in just a little bit.
All right, so I did just a little baby wing. Let's hope I can repeat that, but I didn't have to dip back in the liner at all, which is nice. So one little dip and bringing off the excess was enough to do this little wing here. Now, can I get it even? Probably not, but we're gonna try. I think that's about as even as they're gonna get before I end up messing something up. I do wanna use a little bit of the Hufflepuff yellow eyeliner. All right, so I just applied my blush and my bronzer. My bronzer is the Fenty Beauty in Shady Biz. And then I used this little Wet n Wild Fantasy Makers one in Far De Joux. I know it's like French, but I don't know if I said that right even after taking three years of French. Um, but this is the color here. I figured it'd go pretty good with the eye look. And then that way I can try out one of the highlighters. I think I'm going to try Buckby. I'm going to take it with this e.l.f. small tapered brush. It's up there. That is so gorgeous. I'm going to take a little bit on my finger just to do my cupid's bow. I am going to take a little bit of Hedwig as well. Pop that right there, a little down the center of my nose, and then just to be in the center of that highlight. And you know what? We're just going to pop a little in the inner corner just to brighten it up a little bit. Why not? And what I love about the Super Shock highlighters you can use your fingers or you saw it worked really well with a brush as well. For the lip color, we're just going to go with Hermione. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to add a little bit of Ron in the outer corners, I think. Alright guys, so this is the final look using the Harry Potter and Colourpop collection. Alright, so I really like how the eyes turned out. I really like Colourpop eyeshadow formula and the liquid liner went on really, really nicely. It was very pigmented and I really like the subtle touch of the gold on top of the green to kind of blend in the shimmer liner and then the matte liner. I don't know how I feel about the lip combo. Again, it's just the lip colors in this collection aren't really ones that I would wear often. I mean, the Luna Lovegood gloss I would wear enough. It's just the lipstick colors themselves aren't really my go-to shades. So I don't know how I feel. Let me know what you guys think of the lip combo. I tried to do a little bit of an ombre um, with like the Ron shade and then the Hermione shade, but I feel like I should have just done something a little bit different with the lips, um, but I wouldn't have been using something from the collection if that were the case. So I tried to make it work. Um, so let me know what you guys think. If you guys would like to see like a five looks or a seven looks or something using the eyeshadow palette and like some of the other liners and stuff definitely let me know because i do want to try these shimmer liners just on top of like darker shadows and things like that but yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you got this collection or anything from this collection in general let me know what you guys think about it because i'm, I'm biased but i'm obsessed i only wish that we had a little bit different of like lip colors um, the Ron being a burnt orange, I totally understand with him being a ginger, but maybe if we had like a dark brown instead of a red for Harry, I would have liked it a little bit better, but I don't know. I think it's cute regardless. I really, really enjoyed the collection and I'm definitely impressed with the eyeliners, at least on first impression. Again, we'll have to see how they wear, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to quit talking your ear off now. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the little bell notifications so you guys know every single time that I upload. And yeah, love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.